Through innovative, impactful programs in career training and the arts, they're making an economic difference in the communities they serve. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers coming to you from the 2014 West Michigan Policy Forum being taped at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel in downtown Grand Rapids. Joining me now is the Executive Director of the West Michigan Center for Arts and Technology, Kim Dabbs. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. This is wonderful. What exactly is uh, the West Michigan Center for Arts and Technology? Our organization is a nonprofit organization with a focus on creating a culture of opportunity for people to make social and economic progress in their lives and community. Um, we do that through educational programs both for urban teens of the Grand Rapids Public High Schools ages nine, uh, grades 9 through 12 and then we also have adult career training programs, um, a real market driven approach where our adults are able to, to earn certifications and find career pathways in medical technologies. So uh, particularly with the teens, not only do you have programs, I would assume that people can come into your physical location, but you go out into the schools as well? Yeah, we have some really unique programs. The majority of our students are an out-of-school time program, so they're coming to us after their school day. Um, but we have great partnerships with GRPS, uh, meaning that their time with us is also, uh, uh, is also class time, so they're earning uh, high school credit while they're with us and we also have dual enrollment programs with Kendall College of Art and Design so the time they're with us they're also earning college credit so it's a nice win for all of our students. What's your whole goal with trying to uh, hopefully uh, recruit kids, get kids especially uh, from some of the, the, the more urban uh, districts or settings to, to come in and learn more about the arts? It's really just about creating opportunity. So as the students are with us, we really focus on giving them a unique skill set through a pedagogy or a way of teaching and learning through design thinking, knowing that we can give them the platform and the voice to express themselves and to change the world that we live in uh, through the arts and technology. And uh, when it comes to the programs that you offer to adults, it's a little bit uh, perhaps more practical. Let's help you uh, transform and, and, and be able to work and, and get a job that, uh, that you're qualified for today? Absolutely. So we partner with area employers and healthcare industries and our adults come through our program um, both for the career training as well as personal and professional development so we know that that transition can be as successful as possible for them. And uh, you've been around uh, is it about 10 years, is that correct? Yeah, it's already been 10 years. We're ce celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. Well, congratulations. There must be a great need, I would imagine, for what you do in the community. Have you seen your organization grow over the past decade? Absolutely. So, you know, so much of, of what we do is, is really about changing the individual lives of the students that we serve. Um, and that partnership continues to grow because that generational impact uh, we see not only with the students they have, but the families that they that they live with as well. How would one get involved? Is there a wait list? Can they just walk in the door and sign up? How does that all happen? Yeah, the, the recruitment happens in the schools for our teens, but also for our adults, there's a, a rotating orientation that happens. Um, and you can find out about that on our website at WEMCAT.org. So you don't have to be referred, you don't have to you know, fall into a certain category. If you're, if you're interested and, and, uh, and this is the right fit for you, that, and it's the right enrollment time, uh, I would imagine they can simply uh, walk in and, and get connected that through, through you guys that way. Absolutely, they can go through our process and make sure that the fit is, is good for everyone involved. And we always look forward to those orientation days because it's an exciting time for the organization. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Kim Dabbs, the Executive Director of the West Michigan Center for Arts and Technology.